Hi there, Fat Cap Chef, and I'm now going to show you how to make a Yorkshire pudding. So, what have we got? Got my glass bowl, I've got some flour, plain flour, 225 grams, which is just under two mugs, and a sieve. It's good to sieve the flour, you just need to get air in there, so the quickest way is just to tap it against your hand, and that just helps it to speed through rather than just shaking it, it's a bit like playing a tambourine. There we go. I've also got four eggs, and I've got it's four large eggs, and I've got 300 mils, which is one mug full of milk. And I've got some salt. So let's just this through. Make sure there's lots of air in it. You want your Yorkshire puddings to be Nice and light and puffy, so that means lots of air in there. Okay, drop the last little bit in. Yeah, you can use a whisk like this, or you can use an electric whisk. I'm going to use the electric whisk because uh, it's good to get as much air in as you can, and it'll take me longer to use this one. So I'm going to just crack my four eggs in. Three, four. I've got my salt, so I'm just going to quick grind the salt, not too much. I'm going to put, here's my mug of milk. Now, a third of the milk in, and then we're going to give it a whisk, so it could be a bit noisy. Here we go. Starting on a low speed. We have clouds of flour everywhere. We've incorporated to the bowl. Speed up a little bit. Okay. We get this quite quickly forms into a. And so I'm doing this about at least half an hour, hopefully about an hour before you actually want to use it because you want the batter to rest. So there we go. So it's now forming up a thick paste. Turn it off, add the remainder of the milk. Got my little spatula here just to help push down the sides, make sure it all gets mixed in properly. There we go, and back we go. Reasonably high speed now. Lots of air in there for we want. There's quite a few bubbles on the top of here. So I'm now going to leave that, leave this over so the, the beaters drip in there. I'm going to leave that for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, preferably you know, an hour if you can do that. And then we'll get ready to cook the Yorkshires. Right, okay. So I've had my uh, <coughs> uh, muffin tray in a hot oven for about 230, 240, pretty large, as hot as I can get it. I've boiled it. And I've made sure that the oil is on the gaps around the edges here because that stops it from sticking. And now I'm going to pour in my Yorkshire pudding mixture, about halfway up each one. And then we're going to pop it in the oven and cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes. But you just keep checking to uh, see when they are risen and lovely golden brown, and they will be done. So there's just enough here, should be. I've done this right to do 12. Doesn't matter if you get a bit on the edge. There we go. And that's now going to pop straight back into the oven, pop them in, and then we'll check them when they're done. Okay, here we are. So, 
been in for about 16 minutes and there we have the most amazing Yorkshire puddings sorted. So if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe uh, to the website. It's uh, free, just get updates when I post something. And there's now the website, uh, www.theflatcapchef.com, all one word. Okay, and uh, we'll be back soon with another video.